Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I want to show you how to make a match head ferromagnetic and how it's not unlike we use a blast furnace to extract iron from hematite. Check this out. For this investigation, I'm using several different kinds of matches, a strong neodymia magnet and a petri dish to put my burnt match heads. These are Zippo Typhoon matches. These are strike on box kitchen matches, storm proof matches, and these are strike on box green tipped wooden matches. At first, it's important to note that none of these matches are ferromagnetic, meaning that they don't have enough iron to attract a magnet. They simply fall off. Here's the storm proof match, it's not attracted. Here's the big typhoon match. No ferromagnetism. Here's the, the red tipped. But what would happen if I strike the match? Would a chemical reaction change the match head, making it ferromagnetic? Check this out. When I tested the Typhoon match after I burned it for ferromagnetism, it showed no attraction to the neodymium magnet. When I burned the red tip or the green tip kitchen matches, they didn't have any sign of ferromagnetism either. But when I used the stormproof match, it changed. Let's try it. I'll let it burn down. And we're gonna see if it becomes ferromagnetic after it's finished burning. So we know a chemical reaction just took place. We know that most match heads have potassium chlorate, a little bit of glass, a little bit of red phosphorus, but there's something else in the dye of a match head. Watch what happens when I take the same neodymium magnet over this match. How's that possible? It's suddenly ferromagnetic. Now the other matches aren't. If I go to the Typhoon match, nothing happens. Here's the red and green tip matches. But here's the match we just burned. And it's clearly attracted to the magnet. How's that possible? Okay, so part of what's going on in this example is that we found different match heads have different pigment creating the color that you see, green or kind of an orange color or reddish color. And some of these pigments are actually made of iron oxide. And during a chemical reaction, through reduction, that iron oxide changes into pure iron. Let's take a look at that equation. So we start with reactants, iron oxide, Fe2O3, and carbon monoxide, 3CO. So carbon monoxide comes from just burning the wood. It starts to break down into elemental carbon, carbon dioxide, and carbon monoxide. But the carbon monoxide is a great reducing agent, and you can see that in this equation. Now remember, iron oxide in and of itself is non-ferromagnetic. That's why before burning the match stick, it didn't stick to the magnet at all. But but during this reaction, you can see the product becomes 2Fe, those are two atoms of pure iron, and 3CO2, three molecules of carbon dioxide gas. And we know that iron is attracted to a magnet. So after the reaction, those iron atoms are strongly attracted to the neodymium magnet. And that's why the matchstick sticks to the magnet after the reaction. This equation is not unlike what happens in a blast furnace when we extract pure iron from hematite. So if you look at zones one, two, and three, we add hematite, which is iron ore from the Earth's crust, with coke, which is not Coca-Cola that you drink, it's impure carbon, and limestone. So in zone one, we heat up the coke, that's the carbon, until it starts to release carbon dioxide in zone two. In zone two, we add more carbon to the carbon dioxide until it becomes carbon monoxide. And then in zone three, just like our matchstick, that carbon monoxide reduces the iron oxide into elemental iron and carbon dioxide gas. I'll let it burn down. And then we're gonna see if it's attracted to our neodymium magnet.
Okay, the chemical reaction is over. Let's see if it's magnetized. And here they are, sticking to the neodymia magnet. Isn't that amazing? If you want to give this investigation a shot for yourself, remember that you've got to try different match heads. Not all of them have a pigment that's made with iron oxide. The green tip matches didn't work, the red tip matches, the typhoon matches didn't work, but this brand, Stormproof matches that look kind of uh, orangish, brownish on the top, definitely showed sign that the pigment was made with iron oxide that was reduced to pure iron that was attracted to the magnet. I would recommend this brand if you want to try it at home. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, be sure to remember to like and subscribe.